Welcome to the Franklin School District Power Grade Screencast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the class information features in Power Grade. I've got a Power Grade gradebook open. I'm taking a look at the buttons here across the top. There's this button here, the class information button. It's a blue button with the letter I. When I click that button, it opens the class information window. There's two tabs here in the class information window. And this first tab tells you what the name of the class is, when the class meets, what hour, what room number, some other information that is entered through PowerSchool when the class was created. You don't have to worry about changing any of that. Down here is the class group line. This class group line is very important. If you teach similar sections where you plan to use the same assignments and the same grade scale, you can set a label here that you will also type into your other classes so that when you add the assignments, they will also copy to the other classes. So for computer 7, I put key for keyboarding. And I will go and put that same label in my other keyboarding classes on the class group line. The other tab here is the description. This description is just about your class. This is what parents will eventually see when they log in to PowerSchool with their own accounts later. So you can describe your class. You can mention how your grade book works. Anything you put here, they will see later. So that's the class information window. After you make your changes, hit OK. And like we said, if you need to set another class to be the same label, you would switch to that class by going through the classes menu at the top, selecting that class, and when that gradebook comes up, you will hit that class information button as it loads here. You will hit that class information button and also change that class group line to say the same thing you put in the other class. Now those two classes are grouped. They are linked together and this will play out when we add some assignments later. That concludes this screencast. Thanks for watching.